We're dealing with new days, but old demons. I've said this for a long time that when you see the same thing happening from one culture to the next and one generation to the next and one nation to the next, if the people change and things don't, that means that the spirit working through them is the same. In addition to Baal, there is mention of Asherah. Outside of the Bible, this demon is also referred to as Ishtar and Venus. She is called, quote, the queen of the demons. So Baal would be the king and Asherah would be the queen. She is the goddess of four things. Number one, the tavern and alcohol. She works through intoxication and seduction. She was worshiped at the bars and pubs. And this still exists in our culture. When you see people who are over drinking so that they then can be physically, sexually sinning, you know that Asherah is the, uh, she is the matchmaker. And what happens is, this is where people will even talk about alcohol, is liquid courage. It allows you to do things that normally your conscience would inhibit and prohibit you from doing. And so she is worshiped as the goddess of addiction. Today, she would be the demonic spirit at work for the decriminalization and legalization of drugs. And the way that Asherah works with addiction, alcohol, drugs is simply this, a little bit of pleasure to lead to a lot of pain. That is the spirit of Asher at work. The increase in legalization, decriminalization, and addiction is the work of Asherah in our culture. Number two, she is the demon goddess of prostitution. With Asherah, sex went from a private matter to a public matter. And with Asherah, sexual sin went from something that was rejected to something that was celebrated. She is the demon goddess of pride and tolerance and gender confusion and sexual experimentation. She is the goddess of prostitution. Among the oldest writings we have in the history of the world are quote, sacred hymns to Asherah and she is called a prostitute. They literally sang songs to her And let me just say this, if you listen to songs today that are highly suggestive, very sexual and very erotic, those are worship hymns to Asherah. In addition, what I would say is today on social media, Asherah, this ancient demon goddess has found a new home. She is encouraging entire generations, particularly of women, to be underdressed, to be sexualized, to be objectified, and to be prostitutes on social media. In addition, not only is Asherah the goddess of alcohol and addiction and prostitution, but of transgenderism. Also called Venus, Asherah is referred to as both the morning star and the evening star. She covers the entire spectrum. In addition, she is known for being the goddess of love and war, the entire spectrum. In addition, the demon is non-binary, but oftentimes appears effeminate. When you see men acting like women, when you see men dressing like women, you know that they are working with Asherah. When you see people who slide on a spectrum, sexually and physically, you know that Astra has influenced them. Astra is running social media platforms. She is creating entertainment for children and indoctrinating and confusing younger and younger generations and sexualizing them as early as possible. And if you're a parent and you have the Holy Spirit, you sense this, you're like, it feels like the whole world has lost its mind and everything is going south at the same time. Yes, because this is a spiritual war. There is an ancient Mesopotamian tablet that speaks of Astra, I'll quote it for you. It says this, when I, Astra, sit in the alehouse, I am a woman and I am an exuberant young man. Astra is the spirit of intoxication and seduction, male and female. Number four, Astra is the demon goddess of pornography. The entire goal of the demon Astra is to push lines of propriety until there are no lines left. 
And so hear me in this, when those on the progressive left say, well, we just need to redefine gender and sexuality and marriage, just know that they will continually move the line until there are no lines left. Polygamy is coming, age of consent is also coming because our culture doesn't accept any boundaries or limitations when it comes to sexuality. That's Asherah. Uh, the word erotic means desire. The Greek word eros refers to a demon god of sexual desire. In ancient Greek mythology, Eros was born of Epaphrodite. Epaphrodite is the Greek name for Asherah. Erotica and the porn industry was created and is led by a demon named Eros working under the higher ranking demon named Asherah. This is why some of you struggle so mightily with pornography and your thought life and purity. Some of you, it's not just physical, though it is, it's spiritual. It's like something has taken hold of your soul and won't let go. That's why you need to pray for purity. You need to pray repentance and you need to ask the Lord to break that tie once and for all. Ancient artwork depicting Astra is always lewd, pornographic, very vulgar, She's usually wearing jewelry and she's presented as a beautiful goddess that is very seductive. In the history of the world, the most likely place that the porn industry began was thousands of years ago with devotion to Asherah. And what we're dealing with today are new days, but old demons. Let me just say this. If you tolerate, evil will dominate. <laughs> 